Hello. I don't know about all of you, but I am so ready for this day. Here we go. The season has begun. It is currently January 11th and it's about to go down. We have a lot of glorious solo queue games to play. It is 9 a.m. in the morning exactly. And I am here in my Captain America jersey ready to take over the world. Today is going to be a banger. Today is going to be a good day. We're going to go ham. We're going to go in with full energy, full ham. Boom, 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 boom. We need to get some victory screens. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. The moment we've been waiting for is here. Finally, finally, the new season has begun. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Also, the new patch has come out today. We can just have a quick look at that while we wait for the next game. I expect all Q times to be fairly short, though. Yeah, let's just have a look at this and see what happens. So there's been a mid-school update for Jax with all his abilities adjusted a bit. Uh, Jax, uh, imagine if I had a real animation. Jax is R passive, now it's updated animation, sound effects and visuals. Active. Jack swings his lantern around him, dealing magic damage to nearby enemies. If he hits the chairman, he gains bonus armor plus, and then he gets some extra magic resist. So, ah, uh, somewhat similar, but now he actually has an active. Aatrox has been nerfed. Thank God for that. Where's Cassandra? I have to see if Cassandra was nerfed. It's actually the only thing I care about. What did they do to him? Five lower move speed, lower base damage on his passive, and less physical damage on his W. I don't know if that's enough. Was the start. I think Yumi got nerfed as well, right? Q base damage decreased. Well, they did nerf both Cassandra and Yumi, so I'm already happy about this patch. Uh, we got a bit of a Mundo nerf. We're both top and jungle. Fiora nerf. Couldn't really uh, see that in that game, wasn't visible. Fiora was just stomping. Jace buff. More AD, more Q damage, more W damage. Ooh. They have buffed my mid laner. Lissandra buff, nice Mr. Riot. Health growth increase, Q slow increase, W cooldown decrease. That's what I like to see. A little, uh, a little Ramos nerf. This must be for low elo. No one actually plays Ramos in high elo, but I'm sure the silver players out there are going to be happy about that. And then Shago has been buffed, imagine. 20 lower mana cost on his Q, 10% more critical strike bonus damage and backstabbing, and a bit more damage on, <coughs> on his uh, W, cool. Base health increased for Scion, Q full charge damage increased. Holy moly. The boss is about to take over, that's for sure. Twisted Fate, Q cooldown now decreases rank, W blue card and red card AP ratios increased, sure. Attack speed and attack speed ratio increase for Saya. Yeah, it makes sense. She's been pretty weak for a while. Not the biggest buff, but it's something. Attack damage growth decreased for Siri. Q base damage decreased. I'm a little surprised about this personally, because I actually... Like, there's mixed opinions in the stream for Siri on last patch. Every time I saw Siri in solo queue, she legit, legit did zero damage. So I wouldn't really nerf her personally. But it also depends on the build, because a lot of Siri players go Triforce, Rune, and Hurricane, which seems completely useless. But then there's a few who go crit. And this champ with crit actually was pretty wild. Actually, Mark just casually got eight more lethality. Where do we come from? Horizon Focus has 15 more AP. Yaksho, 100 higher costs. They've nerfed the stacking passive, so instead of... Wait, so it's plus 15% total resists as max stacks, instead of plus 20% bonus resists. They've adjusted the drain damage, so it depends on your maximum health. I think it makes sense trying to f make sure that Yaksho is mostly, mostly ob obnoxious and tanks, rather than broken and absolutely everything. I, I get the logic behind that. So we got a Rod of Ages buff, 100 more health, uh, lower healing... Wait... It turns your move speed proc requirement. Also, it's now 200 healing and mana restoration. 10% more move speed. 1%, 1 second more move speed duration. Move speed gains from eternity now decays more slowly. Okay, don't care too much about that. Archangel, 400 more cost. Gives 20 more AP, 10 ability haste. And they've adjusted the passive. So it grants AP equal to 1% bonus mana and still super on fire for you. Someone is trading with us. A little surprised Kiana wants to lock in. Her top lane Kiana so early, but whatever floats the boat, really. Then 
we have the, oh wait the imperial passive service and has been removed and replaced with lifeline often taking damage that would reduce health below 30 gain a shield based on your mana okay so they've actually given seraph a little uh, lifeline passive i didn't see that one coming who can do the job instead windows approach on rate lower cost 50 more health Bimble windows same thing they've adjusted tenacity so tenacity pelletian stack now gives 1.5 percent extra pelletian stack instead of 2.5 maximum tenacity at full stacks is now 20. that's quite a bit we got some aram adjustments the competitive rewards we saw in the video the other day yesterday seems like that's mostly it new skins coming up anything exciting here Cossack skin Kiana skin could be interesting too anyways Elise has been locked in for game one we're whipping out our strongest right off the bat holy moly come on come on look at the borders the rank borders they're gone we have to reclaim them now and we are gonna do just that just that today's adventure guys will in some ways be similar to what you normally experience in the stream in some ways it's also going to be slightly different i'm obviously still going to be talking explaining what's going on explaining my thoughts but i have one goal in mind and that goal is to win every single game no matter what nothing else matters we have to win every game we have to come out on top in this challenge or at the very least go ham so that in 14 days when it's over i can say that i have no regrets and i couldn't have done anything differently when i got to challenger for the first time in season four it was due to elise i have loved adored this champion for almost nine years and now she and she alone will be helping on securing our first victory screen of the season let's dive into it let's do this so i actually want to see who has not played that champion much everyone seems fairly experienced on that champion on the enemy side that makes sense considering we're at the start of the season we actually have a one game high a support that's not what i like to see but that's okay doesn't really matter um, in terms of lanes and all, I think ganking mid lane early is going to be fairly difficult. Probably same thing bottom. Top lane is a Fiora versus Yone matchup. So I think we have a good chance of making plays up there. So, I believe how we should approach this is just to start blue, path towards top, look for an early play on Yone. If we can give Fiora a lead in this top matchup, she's going to take over, stomp him into the ground and the game is going to be over. Also, I got a little coffee here by my side getting my paw spike ready cheers are on here we go here we go full focus no mercy no mercy gameplay today let's have a look sack is starting on the enemy blue wolf he's going to be pathing towards both side we have an option now we know sack's path he's going to do blue from wolves after that he will be moving both side that means we can either avoid him or we can look to invade him in his bot side, knowing we win the 1v1. I could actually consider that, but it depends a bit on how mid and bot plays out. If mid and bot both are priority, we are, we're going to have a free invade on Sack, and we can take down this kid. He's not going to have any counter play. In terms of clear speed, we are equally strong. Normally Elise is a little bit faster than Sack at this point, uh, but the reason he can keep up is that he got a leash, and I didn't. Now, once Sack is done, What? Once Sack is done with his wolf, he's gonna go to Raptors. Then he's gonna go to Red. We might have an opportunity to kill him there, but let's look for Yasuo first. He's desperately trying to push out this wave, and we're not gonna let him for free. Not gonna let him. See you in heaven, kid. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Actually, it hasn't. He murdered my mid laner. Sack should be going towards this red buff now. Our top lane going, about even. We can drop a ping on red and in the case of Fiora we would love to dive top lane afterwards. The more plays we can make early the better because on Elise the only thing that matters is going 
Stunhound going ham, making big plays in the early game. We have dropped some danger pings in bot lane so they know Sack is around. Hopefully they don't die to him. Yasuo is now warding top side of mid. Meaning if we walk towards mid lane, they're gonna have vision on us. Sack could be sitting on the mid. Talon should be safe if he keeps hovering top side. Now, let's see if we can find an opportunity in the top lane here. We could potentially be on the ward. Yona is sitting really far back. I don't think this is going to be doable. Let's move towards the mid lane. Talon is still struggling, having a rough time in the 1v1. We've got to keep in mind this is warded. He also has a ward on us right now. These people are going to chase me, I think. Might be able to go for a quick gank on Yone. Yasuo and Sack are coming though. Good enough. Sack is still following. He has 29 CS. I have 25. I'm still down to fight. I'm still stronger than Sack. Renata is moving, by the way. Renata is coming with Yasuo. We have to be careful. You're a smithing on these kids. We got Sack. That's what I like to see. Let's go, Fiora! You're so good at this video game! Holy moly! Let's get out of here. We just have the base. The game is good. The game is good. We should base Heimer. Don't ping to go forward. We're out now. We get Sorceress. And then we go Ham. If I sprint to bot lane right now, we might be able to kill Samira before Renata can make it there. Let's get in there. Hold on, Varus. Be patient, my boy. Apparently Samira's summoners are down. Or at the very least, a cleanse. Looks like she's backing off, however. Not gonna give us an opportunity to go for this play. Smart by her. And we keep clearing for now. Fiora is currently the win con. If we can play around her, I'm fairly sure that this is going to be a good game. Sack is sitting in top lane right now. I just need to clear a couple of camps to catch up because he still has a CS lead on me. He most likely will continue to have a CS lead because I'm going to be really, really aggressive this game and I don't care way too much about farming. But we still have to make sure he doesn't get way too far ahead of us. Keep having top side. Sack is probably going to look for the top crop here. Could potentially look for an invade on his blue buff. Talon is basing, not the biggest fan of the timing, gonna make the invade a little trickier, but if Heimadonger comes then I still hope. He just did the crap, just now. Sack does not have passive, this is really good if we can get just a little bit of backup. We're gonna head in there, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna murder this kid in the 1v1 release, here we go! We can go dive Yone, we dive Yone, the game is over, that's it. Holy moly, this guy was so low. I didn't think we could solo kill him that easily. Hold on, Fiora, I'm on the way. I'll be on my way, Fiora, don't worry about it. Where's this guy? Is he even here? Is he just gonna drop everything? Yone, where are you? Cancel the base one more time, just to make sure he actually doesn't get any of this. We need to get out, Fiora. Fiora, Fiora, we need to get out. Yasuo's missing, that's the problem right now. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it, guys. No problem. Wait, holy moly, he's going in. Oh my god, he's smurfing. Talon, you have officially redeemed yourself. Let's freaking go. First game of the season is shaping up to be a good one. Where is the die bot lane in the meantime? But it's okay. Top side will carry. We got this. This game is in the back. This game is ours, guys. Yona is missing from top. I don't think he's gonna invade me here, but you never know for sure. Okay, he's back top lane. Great. I wanna clear red, I wanna clear crocs, and then I wanna pace. And then we go ham again. Sack is sitting up here. We have a solid, solid, solid jungle lead. It's looking real good. Real good. Yura has to be really careful. If she dies top, it's not looking too good all of a sudden. We have to win top side with bot lane getting smacked. I could look top, but I'm not that strong in a fight. 
because we're sitting on 2k gold. Sack is on wolves. We need to help Fiora push out this way. Viona just queued forward. We might be able to kill him here, actually. At least I'm going to go ham. Let's see what can be done. He messed up, so did I miss my cocoon, but it doesn't matter. We got him, we got him. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay, we're just going to enable our chat click quick. Please play safe, but we carry from top slide. There we go. We can disable chat again now. Hopefully bot lane actually decides to listen, because if they just stop dying, bot, this game is over. Let's move down to the spot lane. They could look for diamond virus, potentially. We got some camps to clear first, and we go from there. I have no idea what our bot lane is doing, but they actually managed to get a kill. Two kills. Went a lot better than I could have hoped for. Still, Samira is getting a bit out of control. It's a little bit boring. This guy's no summoners. He messed up his wind wall. This bait often works. They always think you're gonna cocoon first, so you just press the Q, bait him to pop the wall, and then it's easy game, easy life. I made sure Talon got the kill, I'm sure he's gonna appreciate that. I think the red buff is still up, Heimadonga is gonna be on his way to me, but Samira and Renata could be looking for this kill. We have to be a little bit mindful. Just wait for Heimadonga. Renata's over here. Holy Renata! Face checking the spider, huh? Popping the flash. See you in heaven, friend. Let's move down towards Samira. If we can kill Samira, even bot lane is going to be great again. Maybe not great, but they're going to be in a much better spot at least. She's actually tanking it. She doesn't care. Sack is here. This could be a problem, guys. This is a massive problem. We ran it down. We made such a big mistake. Oh no, that's my bad. My bad. Sag outplayed me. Ah. <clears throat> okay, yep. Yeah. It's really all about Samira. Samira is gonna try to 1v9 this game. And we just gave her 800 gold. Let's move bot side. I assume Fiora can continue winning top. Talon is also in a fine spot mid. Bot lane is looking real sketchy, real sketchy. Let's move back down. This could be a good fight. Oh shit. It's a little flash in Yasuo. Guys are afraid, they don't want to go for the all-in. I think we could have, but it's okay. Yasuo's rotating mid, we saw him. So we're gonna walk in and kill him. One Talon. Didn't kill him, then we have to do the job. Yasuo no flash. Sack moving, Fiora's losing when you want top, we have to help her. No, 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 Fiora. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, 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 Fiora. What are you doing, friends? No, 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 no. This is not going too well. I mean, we are fed, but we need a lane that we can trust, a lane that we can play around, and we don't have that right now. That's the problem. Right now, it's a above topside. Samira is working on our bot turret. She's going to get that soon. Samira almost has two items. It's a monk ass, guys. It's a really big monk ass. But let's see what can be done. Let's see if we can carry. Sack is gonna cancel us. It is watered. I don't wanna let them spot me. Yeah, she's out. Let's do Herald. I think Samira is basic as well. She has gold for her second item for sure. Whew. I need to focus real hard this game. We're starting the season with a banger. Jesus Christ, it's a tough one. Can look to Herald mid eventually, but we're gonna need side lanes to move. If we're even numbers, Samira is too strong. 
I can one-shot her if I land Cocoon, but it's pretty easy for her to block it. We're two levels up on Sack. He's been part of two kills, we've been part of 12. We kill one, but I think I'm gonna die for it. Samira is just too strong, she's straight 1v9 right now. Can they kill her though? It's a too hard versus Samira. Damn, she is too strong. Okay, stay mission. Stop Samira from 1v9ing somehow. What's the situation looking like? We have a small advantage top. We're two levels up with Talon. It's mostly bot lane getting smashed. Yeah, so still has no flash. They should be able to win this. Yo, run, 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 run. Samira has IE now. I'm gonna pop Herald here. I have gold for Sonya now. They're just pushing mid. If I can flank Samira, it would be great. 650 gold bounty on her, they're diving. <laughs> Me versus Samira, who can carry harder? If Heimer lands the stun here, it's really good. Okay, that wasn't even close. How on earth do I do this, guys? How do I carry this game? Fat jungler versus fat AD carry is just not the same. It really is not. Hmm. We get Sonya for now. <laughs> this is really nerve wracking. She has three and a half items. But this guy tried to take red buff. Why would he even try to do that? I'm way stronger than him. Nice Fiora stun. They're gonna come top soon. Samira's mid. We're fine. They can't do anything without her. Samira's here soon. Back up, I think. At least not enough. Did we lose Baron from this. Yasuo didn't even die. Oh, we were too split. I wish Fiora had stayed with us. I think we stomped them if she does. Oh, she's just splitting bot with no TP. We lose Baron. Oh no. Okay. It is what it is. I think I need to get Morello. This is so hard, I just need to really, really step up. They are having a gigantic advantage, but maybe we can do it. They're gonna crack some turrets, we can't really stop them. I have no idea why we used timer ults, but I guess that's in cooldown now. Fiora has the back where she's dead. She doesn't seem to care much. Samira is still mid, I fought you at base, I'm dead. I am just dead, no counterplay. I was sure she had base to defend. I guess the upside is I stopped him from basing, so Fiora gets an inhib. A kill on me for inhib? Maybe worth, not sure. Like at the end of the day, we just have to buy time while they're burned both. For now, they've only got a tier 1 turret, we're pushing both sides. We're actually getting more than them here. Fiora did all she could. Really good job by her. Honestly, not bad. Look at Samira's items. Do you see any magic resist in her? Because I don't.
I'm a little bit greedy. <laughs> Decided to walk into the bush, definitely shouldn't have. Okay, we have more reload, that's a start. Now we need more burst damage. Could be a shadow flame. I would have gone shadow flame second item instead of Sonya if it wasn't for the fact that they have full AD comp with a Giga Fessa mirror, but I think Sonya is a must. We just need to keep buying time for Fiora. Let her do her thing on side lane. This is not bad. Or is it? We might actually lose the game here. I have to live. If I die, it's lost. Samira died, so Heimerdinger. Fuck, I died. Samira died, so they can't end. Holy, I can't believe we lost that. I got such a nice angle on Samira, but it just did nothing. <laughs> Actually didn't do anything, we just got destroyed. They did get a pretty big Yasuo ult off. I think that's what turned it around for them. These guys are getting desperate because Fiora is doing work. We just have to keep playing slow, keep playing slow, this is where we can win. This is our chance. I'm winning a suicide. Very suicide. If this guy dies, they end mid, I think. He has to get out. He jumped right into the turret. Holy moly, guys. We have to clear the mid wave. Yora died. Man, if we just kept playing slow. The game was always right there. Baron is there. I'll try to get Drake. I don't know if I can. That's CPing. I have to give it. Nothing to do about it. Cloud Soul is there. Here we go again. Whew, this game. Yara is gonna. Is he gonna group or split? I'm not even sure. She couldn't decide either. I'm actually not sure if it's best to have a topper here with us. Because people keep getting caught. I think I'm dead actually. Speaking of getting caught. Well, to be fair, they're just diving me behind my turret. I think we lose. They're too strong. That's over. This is not how I was hoping to start the season, I'm not gonna lie, but... Clean Elise game. That's the takeaway. Elise paid off big time. Heimerdinger, Varus, Talon. They didn't have the game of their lives. They let us down. It's part of solo queue. It doesn't matter what season it is. It is a team game after all. And this time around, the bot gap was absolutely out of control. Holy moly, it is what it is, we go next. Next game will be better. Oh, that was kind of a disaster. I can't believe we lost that game, but uh, we go next. We go next. We had so many chances, so many opportunities to win, but they just didn't want to take any of them. Let me update today's record. Sadly, we get to add the first L. Hopefully that will be the only one. Let's look how far we were ahead. Not by much. Only 2.4k at 11 minutes. The main reason was the bot lane just kept dying. And then the one time I died to Samira, that was the one big mistake I made this game. When I got too eager to shut her down bot lane, I died and Samira got a 500 gold bounty from me. That's the one big regret I have. Outside of that, it was a really clean early game. I think I did what I could. Thank <laughs> you.